You're watching another Element Eval. What? What's up, y'all? Today we're going to be doing a review over the Vortex Ranger 1000 Rangefinder. If you like this video, be sure and subscribe below so you can see our other videos. In particular, the review that we do over the Vortex Diamondback 10x42 binoculars. <laughs> so last year, Vortex introduced their Ranger line, which is their line of rangefinders. It became a really hot item on the market because Vortex is known for its quality and also great warranty. So first, let's start out with the negatives. I really like this rangefinder a lot, but there are a few things I'd like to say about it. Uh, first off being, on my digital display, whenever I range something, if it shows up as a 2 or a 7, there's a smudge across one of the numbers that shows up every time. It doesn't really interfere with the reading, I can definitely tell what it says, but it's kind of just a strange thing, it's almost been there since day one. Now, side note, I do know that they'd probably fix or replace it for me if I needed them to, but it hasn't really got to that point. It's just kind of something I deal with. Another thing is I don't particularly care for the color of the digital display in this rangefinder. It's kind of a hot pink, orangish color. I'd much rather have a green or something like that. It's just not as easy on the eyes. And I know this really isn't part of the rangefinder, but the case that comes with it is a little bit flimsy and not really becoming of what the high quality gear that I assume would be associated with this rangefinder. I've worn this for one season and already the belt loop is kind of starting to fray a little bit. Now there is a clip on the rangefinder to use instead but I do like being able to secure this to my belt and I know it won't fall off unless it rips. And the last thing really that you could point out about this rangefinder is it's on the pricier end of rangefinders. I think this MSRP is for about $299 which is a little bit high, but you are getting a quality piece of equipment. There's always something cheaper, right? That's just kind of the way industry works. But do you want to pay that price for what you're getting? And now for the good. One of the things that I really like about this rangefinder is how small and compact and lightweight it is. I've owned other rangefinders in the past and they feel like you're toting around a brick with you everywhere you go. This thing literally can go on my belt and I don't even notice its presence. It feels like a skinning knife almost on there. And while we're talking about belt attachment, it has a clip right here that's very heavy duty, very strong, and with three Allen screws, you can actually remove it and put it on the other side in case you want to run this thing lefty, like that. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Also on the eyepiece right here, it actually has a variable eye relief adjustment so that you can dial it in to be in focus at whatever range that you're trying to be. And if you're looking through the viewfinder and you notice that the digital display is a little bit bright or a little bit too dim for the hunting conditions you're in, you can actually adjust the brightness to three different levels for your hunting situation. This rangefinder actually has a lot of adjustment internally. I don't really mess with a lot of it. I have it set on yards and on angle compensation and that's where I leave it. But I do know that you can switch from yards to meters, maybe even to feet and you can also take the angle compensation off if you don't want it on there. One of the most valuable <clears throat> one of the most valuable attri valuable attributes <laughs> is that it actually is true to range. Uh, I've noticed that that's kind of one of those things that you're going to get into with a little bit higher end stuff, of course, but if you hold steady or mount this thing on a tripod like it has a little tripod mount there, you can get accurate ranges you know down to the single digits out to close to a thousand yards and yes I've ranged a thousand yards or even further with this rangefinder now there's always a caveat you can't bounce off of a deer's ear at a thousand yards and expect to get a good reading but if you can find a good solid rock at that distance yeah a thousand yards is no problem for this rangefinder and lastly I really like the rugged nature of the construction of this rangefinder it's got a nice coating around the top to give you a little extra grip a good plastic exterior to be strong. I've dropped this out of the tree. Works fine. No big deal. If it didn't, as long as you don't lose it and you can return it, no matter if it's melted, burned, crushed, or whatever, they will fix it or send you a new one. And that warranty is lifetime, unlimited, and unconditional, no matter what the incident was. Don't forget about our other Element Eval reviews on YouTube. Remember, this is your element. Live it. <laughs>